Hello and welcome to The Real Deal. We are here at the Hackney Picture House for the premiere of Startup, the new bit flick directed by David McKenzie and starring Jack O'Connell. We'll be on hand to interview both the cast and the director, so stick with us, it should be a good night. British films like this maybe get them the attention they deserve. I mean, this one, I know you won sort of the Rising Star Award, um, I mean, how important do you think that is? Well, it, for me personally, it's hugely important, mainly because it actually gives me a platform to talk about the real work that I did that was stopped. And, and without this film, I wouldn't have that platform to discuss it. It's also wonderful on a personal level to have my writing validated and to potentially interest people in, in future stuff that I write is clearly a wonderful thing for me because writing is so therapeutic. It's yeah. important. The right films, like the right films need to get made. Like they need the, whoever's putting the money in, they need to have a, a very fine eye looking at these scripts and the right films need to get made because some of the youngsters today don't want to read a book and they don't, but they can learn a lot from these films and not even just the youngsters, the whole world. You can enter a world that you're not used to by watching films. It, it saddens me when you see the sort of uh, you know, the balance kind of shift to what's a one way that doesn't necessarily favour uh, the people who are scraping it together because it does exist in this business, you know, there are people making films that never happen, you know, and stories that they really do believe in. So, you know, there could have been another three or four startups last year, for example, that, you know, I just didn't get the belief to compensate for the. Kids causing issues, you know, it's necessary. Well, I know that David, the director, he filmed this in sequence. He did, yeah. So, well, have, have you experienced that before? And how yeah, that, yeah. How does that help your, your acting? Well, when you shoot chronologically, you're on a journey, so you don't have to think about your character's motivation for each scene. Where am I now in the scene? Where have I just come from? Where have I just been? Where am I going next? You're shooting chronologically in sequence, so you don't have to think about it. You're on that journey. And I've done that a few times, and that's, that's quite a luxury for an actor, because you don't have to think about where you are and where you're going, you're just, you're on that journey. I think that was a stroke of genius from David McKenzie, the director, to, to shoot in sequence. I'm obviously a complete new person at this whole film thing, but I was really impressed by that. And David and I were able to collaborate throughout in terms of working out what, what was going to happen next almost, you know, because, because we, we, because David reserved that freedom through shooting uh, sequentially, so it felt really beneficial. I wanted to you know, make the film feel very real, so we had to find the right environment. We found this great prison in Belfast, and it was intact, and they let us shoot the film sequentially, which is a challenge I've never done before, but it turned out to be really, really positive. Because the actors all go on the journey together, and, uh, and I think that's it helps in the authenticity of the, of the movie. You have to behave. <laughs> Because I will kill you. I mean, it's a very intense film to watch. Um, when you're filming a film like this, in the moments when the camera is not rolling, what are you doing in those moments? I mean, do you try and keep the atmosphere sort of dark to, to help us the film, or do you try and quieten up a bit and make jokes? And stuff? Well, it's kind of funny. There's a bit of both there. I was really scared that, it would, that, that, that all that aggression and the atmosphere would kind of spill outside. Um, but, it, but it kind of didn't, we didn't stop very much is the answer, because there wasn't much time for that. And the guys all, all the actors had, didn't have a trailer, they had, they had cells. So they'd go back to the cell and, they, and they'd probably joke around a bit, but I was pretty much in there all the time. It was a, yeah, right. very much a family yeah. affair, like it's like the whole yeah. crew and cast was one big family. It was all out, we was, like, we was away from home together, which is kind of like a prison feeling. So it was a very much a family affair and we was all very serious and in character. Everyone needed to take their job seriously. But we had our moments where Jack would pull us aside and say, can we all sing Stand By Me together? So like, we, we had our fun moments, but we was we take our job seriously. But it was a, it was a family feeling. So sorry to interrupt, what was that song we sang? Stand By Me, I was just telling him. Yeah, so we were singing Stand By Me, he was the lead singer, and we're doing our dance and stuff. Yeah, so we had fun, we had fun. Startup means you're a leader. So that's it for the UK premiere of Startup. The film is out this Friday, the 21st of March, and it is one of our recommendations for what to watch this week. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.